Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using the sine rule to find unknown sides in non rangle triangles. Now hopefully you've watched my previous videos or encountered trigonometry when we have right angled triangles and for example we might have say an angle like that might be 60 degrees and you might have one of the lengths so this is 5 and you're trying to find one of the other lengths. And we use something called like Sokotoa, so sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, etc. However, Sokotoa is only applicable to right angle triangles. So what do we do if we don't have a non right angle triangle? And we have separate formulae for this. So there's one thing called the sine rule. And let me write the sine rule first, and then we'll see how we can apply it to this triangle and why we'd use the sine rule here. Now, just before I introduce the formula for this, I need to tell you how we label the sides of this triangle. Because we need for right angle triangles, we'd have like a hypotenuse, an opposite, and an adjacent. But it's not so clear what the hypotenuse here is, or the opposite, or the adjacent. We only have a hypotenuse when we have a right angle triangle. So this is how we label the sides. Let's say we label the three sides of the triangle A, B, and C using lowercase letters. Then each side's opposite angle would be the capital form of that letter. So opposite A would be the angle capital A, opposite B would be the angle capital B, and opposite the C would be capital C. And that's how we label a non-right-angled triangle. Now, if you've got a non-right-angled triangle, this is what the sine rule is, and I'll explain how to use it in a second. A over sine A is equal to B over sine of capital B. So this is the sine rule. And what that's basically saying is that if we take any side of this triangle and divide it by the sine of the opposite angle, we always get the same result for any three of these pairs. And we can use the sine rule when you have a side and an opposite angle pair. So in this particular triangle here, look, we've got a side and an opposite angle pair. We've got a side and an opposite angle pair. So if you have two side opposite angle pairs like we do here, that's when we can use the sine rule. Either to find an